Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Clark here, your librarian. There are three books I'm going to tell you about that are available for checkout in the library today. The first book is called Becoming Muhammad Ali. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That is the most famous quote by Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time. But before he became the legendary Muhammad Ali, he was the young Cassius Clay, a boy who learned card tricks from his grandfather hid his report card from his parents, and biked around Louisville, Kentucky with his buddies. But when his bike gets stolen, Cassius decides there's something he wants more than anything, to be able to stand up against bullies and become a boxer. His best friend Lucky stands by him through it all, whether his fists are raised in victory or his back is against the ropes in defeat. And soon, Lucky is cheering on Cassius in his first amateur fight. I highly recommend this smash hit to any one who wants to learn more about one of the greatest sports heroes of all time during Black History Month. The next book is Shark Attacks of 1916. Chet is finally feeling at home in New Jersey. He has a job with his Uncle Jerry at the local diner, three great friends, and the perfect summertime hangout. But Chet's summer is interrupted by shocking news. A great white shark has been attacking swimmers along the Jersey Shore. Everyone is talking about it. So when Chet sees something in the creek, he's sure it's his imagination, until he comes face to face with a bloodthirsty shark. This book is part of the I Survived series and is based on true events. The books are in Spanish as a chapter book and a graphic novel. The last book I will tell you about is Love and Luck. Addie is visiting Ireland for her aunt's destination wedding and hopes she can stop thinking about the one thing she did that left her miserable and heartbroken. But her brother Ian isn't about to let her forget, and his constant needling leads to arguments and even a fist fight between the two once inseparable siblings. Miserable, Addie can't wait to visit her friend in Italy and leave her brother and her problems behind. So when Addie discovers an unusual guidebook hidden in the dusty shelves of the hotel library, she's able to finally escape her anxious mind and Ian's criticism. But then their travel plans change, and Addie finds herself on a whirlwind tour of the Emerald Isle, trapped in the world's smallest vehicle with Ian and his cute Irish-accented friend Rowan. As the trio journeys over breathtaking green hills, past countless castles, and through a number of fairy tale forests, Addie hopes her guidebook will heal not only her broken heart, but also her shattered relationship with her brother. This is one heartwarming tale of a road trip uh, through Ireland, filled with lots of love, adventure, and the true meaning behind the word family. If you're looking for a romance read for Valentine's Day, this may be the book for you. If you're interested in any of these books, they will be available for checkout at the circulation desk when you visit the library today. Be sure to snag a copy and have a great day!